Hola a todos! Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to be practicing Spanish numbers in the hundreds. Starting at 100 and going all the way up through 999. So, if you've already learned how to do numbers 0 through 99 and are ready to move up to the hundreds, let's get started. And let's get started with the number 100. The number 100. El número 100. We're going to say 100 just to say the number 100 or to say 100 things. For example, 100 books, libros, 100 libros, 100 libros. How about 100 ducks, patos, patos, ducks, 100 patos, 100 patos. All right, a hundred, cien. But what if I want to say a hundred and fifty ducks? Well, I'm not going to just say cien. Whenever you're talking about a hundred plus, for example, hundred one, hundred two, all the way up to hundred ninety nine, you're actually going to say ciento, ciento plus whatever number comes next. So, for example, ciento fifty. Do you remember how to say fifty? Cincuenta. So, put it all together. A hundred fifty ducks. Ciento cincuenta patos. Ciento cincuenta patos. A hundred and fifty ducks. How about a hundred sixty ducks? Start with ciento, add sixty. Ciento sesenta, ciento sesenta. Ciento sesenta patos, ciento sesenta patos. All right, so you see our formula? We start with ciento, the hundreds number, and then just add whatever goes after it, like you've already learned the numbers 1 through 99. So just stick those right on the end. 160 patos. Let's try 166. How would we say 166 ducks? 166. 166 patos. All right, so here's our formula we can follow. Ciento and the number for ciento uno hasta ciento noventa y nueve. All right, now let's learn how to take this same formula of the hundreds plus the one through ninety nine number, but go past one hundred. And let's learn two hundred through nine hundred. Starting off with Doscientos, doscientos, doscientos. And if we look at the number doscientos, you can see that it starts off with ciento, and you make it dos, two, hundreds, plural hundreds, doscientos. So it has an S on the end. Doscientos. Remember this structure. It's going to reappear. All right. So, 200 books. Libros. 200 libros. 200 libros. Muy bien. How about 200 ducks? Patos. Doscientos patos. Doscientos patos. All right. How about two hundred goats? How do we say goats? Las cabras. Las cabras. And now we're going to learn something special. Another thing we need to remember for numbers two hundred through nine hundred. Let's see. 
200 goats. Las cabras is feminine. 200 cabras. 200 cabras. So instead of 200 with an OS at the end, las cabras is feminine, las. So we need to make our number 200 also end with AS. 200 cabras. 200 cabras. Alright, so 200 patos, 200 patos, masculine gender ending in O because patos, los patos is masculine, but 200 cabras. So we're making our hundreds number agree in gender of the noun we're talking about. So we've got gender agreement for 200s and ni through 900s. All right, so let's learn the 200s through the 900s. And we started with 200. Siguiente, next. 300. 300. 300. And here you can see the same pattern. 200, 300. So can you guess what would be next? 400, 400. 400, muy bien. So it's following our same pattern. 200, 300, 400. But... Next, coming up, we have an exception. There's always going to be exceptions, right? So, 500 does not follow this pattern. 500 is 500. 500. 500. And to help you remember this, you can remember how to say 15 in Spanish is 15, right? 15 is 15, 500, 500, 500. So we'll put that on our list as an exception. 200, 300, 400, 500. For 600, we're going to go back to our pattern. So 600 will be 600, 600. 600, sticking with our pattern. 700, so close to the pattern, so close. But instead of taking the number siete, the number seven, siete, we're gonna just do a slight modification. 700, 700, 700. So basically, all we've done is take out that letter I from siete. If we had said siete cientos, that's a lot of uh, flexibility we got to do in our mouth. So siete cientos is just, maybe it's easier to say, I don't know. But you can think of it that way to help her remember. Siete cientos almost follows the pattern, but just take out one I, siete cientos. For 800, it does follow the pattern, so can you guess what 800 will be? Right, 800, 800, 800. And 900 is actually going to be very similar to the small exception that we saw with 700. So let's see, how do we say 9, 9? Nueve. Can we make that vowel sound in nueve a little bit simpler? Take it from two vowels down to one. Novecientos. 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 
So just like for setecientos, you took the siete and changed IE to just a E. For novecientos, you're changing the UE, two vowels, to just one. Novecientos. All right, so let's go through all together the hundreds before we move on to our practice. Try to say me try to say the numbers before I say them. Try to beat me to it. So let's start with 200. 200. 300. 400. 500. 600. 700. 800. 900. All right, now we got our vocabulary for 200 through 900. We're gonna go back and use the same formula that we saw with the ducks and the goats and just move on up with higher numbers. So let's try with 843. 843 ducks. Remember ducks? Patos. Patos. So we start with our hundreds and we just learned 800. 800. 800. And then same formula we saw earlier. We just add the 43 right after it. 843. 843 patos. 843 patos. All right, let's try with goats. And remember, las cabras, las cabras, goats is feminine. So let's try 611 goats. Start with our hundreds and then add 11 after it. So, 611 cabras, 611 cabras. And again, 600 has an A at the end because cabras is feminine. Las cabras. 611 cabras. How about manzanas? Let's talk about las manzanas, apples, another feminine noun. And how about we have 431 apples? So start with your hundreds. Check if it's feminine. Las manzanas is feminine. And then add 31. 431 manzanas. Well, so close. But there is actually one more thing we need to talk about with this example. Here we have the number 31. 31. And if we are talking about... 31 things or 431 things or any number that ends with 1. It could be 401, 421, 451. Then we are actually going to remove the O at the end of uno. So instead of 31, we'll just say 431 manzanas. 431 manzanas. Okay, so again, step by step, just another little detail to remember. If we have a number that ends with one, uno, we're going to drop that O. Let's see another example with 531. 531. So start with 500s. Remember, 500 is an exception. 500. 500. But Las Manzanas is feminine, so 500. Next, let's add 31. 31. But since it's ending in 1, we're going to drop the O. 
And all together, that will give us 531 manzanas. 531 manzanas. Let's try with las peras. Las peras, how about 714 peras? So remember what 700 is. Check if it's feminine. Las peras is feminine. So we need to put an A at the end. And then put 14 right after it. 714 peras. 714 peras. Muy bien. So you can see that at first, big numbers in Spanish can seem so intimidating. But when you go step by step, then it's actually not so bad. And the goal is with lots of practice, both listening and speaking, both reading and writing, it's going to become automatic. If you keep practicing this, these numbers, you'll be able to rattle them off like it's nothing. And then the next step would be to go to bigger numbers, thousands and beyond. And in our next video, I'll put, post it when it's ready, uh, you're going to learn how to s go from thousands to the tens and hundreds of thousands all the way up to the millions. And again, maybe that seems intimidating, but if you just go step by step, it's really easier than it seems. So I really encourage you to keep practicing. And if something seems like a challenge, break it down step by step and you'll be surprised by how quickly you can really master it. Gracias por ver el video. Thank you for watching the video. Suscríbete, subscribe if you'd like. Uh, to see some more videos like this and you could even hit the bell notification to be notified when I do come out with a new video. So, thanks again for watching. Gracias y hasta luego.